Welcome, my silence. friends, to the show that never ends. If you like vulgar humor, come inside, come inside. <laughs> Get it? No. That was, Not really, but I'll uh, uh, just pretend I do. Did you uh, hear about they're going to make another RoboCop movie? I wonder if it's going to be a remake. Um, no, no. It's, actually, it's it's going to be no. a continuation no. of no, uh, it's the not original gonna, movies. No, it's not going to be a remake. It's going to be a. It's going to be Robert Cop. <laughs> ah, they're actually like go, they're, the they're, they're actually going back to the original design of RoboCop. That's going to be a continuation. It's going to be. <laughs> uh, it's going to be uh, the European version of RoboCop. Robert Cop. I'd buy that for a euro. It's going to be Roberto Cop. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dinero. Your move, Creed. Well, Spain's actually on the euro, so. I gotta go to sleep. Okay. Well, you heard it here first, everybody. She's gonna go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Yep, Lily's gonna go to sleep. Not Lily. Um, Emily. Emily. Why do I confuse your your niece with Adam's niece? There's a big difference between my niece and his niece. Yeah, one, one's Australian. <laughs> yeah, one goes, no, and the other one just goes, uh-uh. One goes, no, and the other one's uh, Emily. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the other one's one. Lily. See, I did it again. The joke doesn't make any sense if I do it the right way. Random humming from Mark. Everybody take a shot. Dane pointing it out. Everybody take a shot. Billy taking. Billy cuts a fart. Everybody take a shit. <laughs> I haven't farted yet. <laughs> you will. Yeah. Oh, I know. It's, yet, yeah, it's an inevitability with you. The only, the only question we're wondering is how long it'll be. Yeah. Let's see over been... under on Billy's next fart. <laughs> it's like eight seconds. <laughs> I'll take the over. <laughs> well, however long that, go to that footage of the uh... of the the one he did during the two K during the uh, SummerSlam simulation. Yeah, that was like uh, I think we clocked that in at like five and a half seconds. Oh, jeez. Yeah. There's something wrong with that boy's butt. Yeah, yeah. Something is something crawled up his ass and died. Yeah, poor Eddie Murphy wouldn't have made a song if he knew about Billy's butt. Oh, I thought you meant Eddie Murphy crawled up Billy's ass and died. (laughs) Oh, no! What am I doing up this guy's ass? (laughs) Well, I mean, his career's kind of stalled out again. (laughs) You walking ass booger, Shrek! (laughs) Shut up, donkey. I told you to go back in the guy's asshole, donkey. (laughs) <laughs> this is Don't no be... cave, you fucking honking piece of shit. I'm green. Stop How being... can I be a honky? Donkey, stop being a broke ass N word. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm not a broke ass N word. I'm a boss nigga. God damn it. <laughs> Jeez, now I have to edit the VOD. Thanks, Bill. Well, this is pre-show, so <coughs> it would only air to patrons. Speaking of uh, patron, what happened to the 100th episode of You Can't Be Serious today? Oh, damn it. I forgot completely. Oh, well. Well, that's it. That's I'm it. I'm suing you for, for, for bananas. In pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> and they're coming down the stairs. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot to air the 100th episode of You Can't Be Serious today. Oh, well. I can do it tomorrow. Yeah, I completely fucking forgot at all that it was supposed to go up today. You hey! Are just... Patrons get it for one extra day! <laughs> Although, to be fair, it's probably public now because it, it, it was set to go public in two days anyway, so... Where would it be public? Patreon. My Patreon. <laughs> Oh, Patreon, my Patreon. <laughs> oh, Captain, my Captain. Oh, Crapton, my Crapton. Oh, Eric Clapton, my Eric Clapton. 
<laughs> Eric Clapton's like, what do you want? Yeah, seriously. Oh, only, he sa- want? only he says it in a British accent. <laughs> well, I know what he wants. He wants his son back. What the oh. fuck? You- <laughs> Bill. Come on. <sighs> Would you know my name if I pooped you in heaven? <laughs> Would it be the same? You fell off of the porch. It's in the way that you poop it. <laughs> you fell out a window. No. Oh. Oh, yeah, I know we Very fell out sad of story. You're pooping no, too is. slow. Do it now, you fucking shoe me. <laughs> Why don't you know? Ashley in chat. Billy! It wouldn't be me if I didn't do that kind of jokes. <laughs> Straight out of the window. Straight out of Compton. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. Hmm. <sighs> Okay, well, that's good to know for planning. Oh, I'm going to a con on the 10th next month. After midnight, they're going to defenestrate my son. Ouch. After that time, the autopsy was done. Jeez. <laughs> Look at this photograph. Look at this graph. Well, it is a graphite pen. Look at this giraffe. I would say Eric Clapton is a sank, but didn't he fuck George Harrison's wife? Uh, yeah, before George Harrison was married to her, so what's the problem? <laughs> no problem. No problem there. No, if it was before they were married, there's no problem there. Yeah. Uh-uh. Or it might have been after. It might have been after George Harrison's head death, to be honest. Well, even then, still. I mean, Even then, still, it doesn't matter. The, the, the term there was no adult part. Yes, there was no adultery committed. All is good here. They were divorced in 1977. Okay, and married. so yeah. Yeah, there you go. So, so it would have been after. So Eric Clapton married George Harrison's ex. So nothing wrong with There's nothing wrong with that. Ain't no shame in that. Ain't no shame in that. Ain't no mountain was the inspiration high for? enough. While my guitar gently weeps, uh, yeah, probably, I would imagine. Uh, she was also the inspiration for "You Look Wonderful Tonight," the Eric Clapton song. My guitar becomes a cock. <laughs> what do you think the hole in the middle is for? Yeah, stick it in between two strings and get it in there. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> Those guitar strings do not feel good. If there's any indication of how you feel in your fingers, if you play with play it too long, I was gonna say, Billy, how do you know that the guitar strings don't feel good on your penis? <laughs> guitar strings with... don't feel good on the dick. Trust hey, me. Hey, I tried to play it with my with my bass with my penis before. <laughs> I'd put Actually, a little I've metal never, helmet I've, on it. I've never done that. Because I have to touch it Mike, with my hands. Mike, stop fucking guitars. I don't have a guitar to fuck. Think I can afford a fucking guitar? <laughs> on my salary? I see Which mine is as a gift. Zero. What would I even do with a guitar? I can't play shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even do uh, Smoke on the Water, which is the song everybody learns on the guitar first. Oh, I know how to play that. And Iron Man. And Blitzkrieg Bop. And uh, Ace of Spades. 
and uh, many others. Many, many others. The Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades. If you look a wiener, tell you how to get it. You be you you be born as a man. <laughs> Goodbye, Enzo Amore. <laughs> Goodbye. Because you won't be able to use that name anymore. I don't think anywhere's going to hire him. Depends on if he's found innocent or not. Which now Sounds... I've been hearing there's actually evidence to the contrary coming out. Talking that about he... how the uh, the woman who is accusing him is, uh, you know, not so innocent herself. So, so she might be lying? Possibly. Hmm. I'm not saying for sure, but it's possible. There's this guy on uh, YouTube, apparently, who uh, has text messages from the woman saying how, oh, I, uh, I fucked a wrestler. I'm laying in bed with uh, him right now. Oh. It sounds pretty bragging, doesn't it? It's pretty braggadocious. Mm-hmm. And then turn around and say that, duh, he raped you. Yeah. Hmm. hmm. If it really turns out this woman lied and ruined his career. I'd sue her for everything she's worth. Yeah. Which probably isn't much. People people like that are why women who actually get raped don't come forward. Yeah. Because of people like that. Because somebody fucks it up for the rest of them. It's like the boy who cried wolf, or in this case, it, it, the boy who cried happens. the woman, the girl who cried rape. And, and the sad thing is, it happens more often than. Yeah, that's the unfortunate than, thing. Than, than, than rape does, you know. I mean, it's not. You know what I mean. Women who do cry wolf on rape needs to go to jail for filing a false report. Well, I mean, there was a story that came out today about um, somebody who accused three black men of raping her. Uh, Turns out she lied, and she's going to get, like, 20 to 30 years. Oof. Yeah. yeah. You're undermining the justice system when you do that, and the justice system doesn't need your help to be undermined. It can pretty much do it itself. I feel like, I feel like women who accuse people of rape, falsely accuse people of rape, are as bad as the actual rapists themselves. Yeah. They're out there trying to ruin would, people's lives. Because you're screwing up a life. You're screwing up somebody's life either way. I was reading a, a story about her, <coughs> how she was telling it, and first she says she was passed out, but apparently for somebody who was passed out, she remembers a lot of very oddly specific, minute details. Also, she sent text messages while she was laying in bed with him, so that's kind of a little suspicious. <laughs> Were you text sl sleep texting? Well, it'll be interesting to see what more information. They're doing the whole "I hated the dick, so you're gonna pay" situation. Well, you know that's not an excuse. If you don't like if you don't like the dick, you just don't ever see that guy again. Simple as mm -hmm. that. Ah, oh, the ex Olympic gymnastic doctor got sentenced today. 175 years. Yes, that's the maximum amount. He'd already been he already had 60 years for a previous conviction on top of his 175 years for this. Apparently he was he before this trial he got 60 years for possession of child pornography. So mm. Let's see. That means that he, he, he six, gonna die in prison, basically. Uh, well, yes. I'm gonna go he, grab a soda. I'll be right back. 
235 years worth of prison time is what he's been sentenced to. Wow. It, with, with the two things. And so, yeah, he's he's 54. Um, Don't and, die in prison. Uh, well, there's a very good chance that he won't last long in prison because in prison there is a there is an honor code. There's an honor. There's a hierarchy, and even people in prison hate people who have sexually assaulted children or have child yep. porn. Oh, I know. They hate them a lot. They tend to murder them. Well, they, there's a reason why they tend to, um, well, why they tend to have them in um, solitary confinement a lot of the time. Yes, because if they went out into the, if they were put in with a normal population, they wouldn't last long. Nope. My brother is a is a, is a, is a, a CO. Uh, in the county jail, and uh, they got a whole floor full of them. Yeah. I'm sure they do. Police stopping us. Do 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 I'm just gonna pop away to the washroom. I'll be back. Okay, okay. Hey, Dane. Yeah. Is there any more uh, information on the whole thing? Could you be a little specific, please? On Wait. Enzo? Uh, basically, his, his lawyer came out and said this isn't true. He said it's not true, and yeah. All right. So, because they fired him, and if it turns out to be false, could he sue the WWE for firing him? False pretenses? Um, I don't think so. I, I mean, I, I'm going to assume that he, somebody will tell him to, uh, to do that, to file a false termination suit against them. Because they did it to save their butts. Basically. Well, what if you're? Ta are you talking about Enzo? Yeah. Well, apparently, um, the reason that they decided to terminate him was that uh, these allegations against him had been going on for some time. Uh, and they only just before found out about it a few days ago on Monday, but it's been going on since about. I think October or November from what I was reading uh, and they're supposed uh, and then if they have any criminal cases or anything about they're supposed to tell him and he refused to tell them and then along with his previous behavior uh, he he uh, they used it to terminate him hmm but on other news, uh, I encountered uh, a Silver Age character for the first time the other day when I was reading it for the book I'm working on, Billy. Mm, what one? The Silver Age Batwoman. Oh. Introduced in Detective Comics 233, if I remember correctly. Yep. From 1956. 
I remember correctly, it was yes, in June her, or July. And her colors are yellow, black, and red. Yes. Not a very attractive costume. I mean, it's kind of ugly. Well, yeah, it was orange, orange cape, yellow and black, uh, yellow and black suit, and red gloves. Yeah, it was terrible looking. Batman pretty much just had three colors on him. Well, she has three colors. It's just there. It's yellow, red, and uh, yellow, red, and the kind of the orangey red. Yeah, it would have been better if it would have been a gray, blue, and yellow like Batman. Uh, it was July nineteen fifty six. So I'm just looking at the issue now. Yeah, she doesn't even have a bat on her chest or anything. No. Well, that was her first appearance, and then she would come back later on as a foil for a romantic foil for Batman after the allegations of him and Robin being gay lovers that happened. So. Yeah, you know, the thing is, then the you know the people that said that never read the comic books. It was his ward, basically. It was his adopted son. Yes. Well, this was written and this was written in the nineteen. 19- 50s or early late 1950s early 1960s this yes seduction of the innocent Mm -hmm. wow i I go away for a few minutes i come back and there's talk about rapists and child molesters what's going on here oh no 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 we're discussing a a a book that uh this guy called frederick wortham how i became a chomo by jared vogel no no, 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 I was just talking about the introduction of the Silver Age Batwoman in 1956 and uh, how she was later used as a foil for until she was written out uh, for Bruce Wayne slash Batman over the allegations of him and uh, Batman being in a... We always, uh, we always got uh, Bruce Wayne's uh, porn counterpart, Bruce Wang. Sure. <laughs> Let's go see the porn parody of Dunkirk. Dong jerk. I did watch oh, Dunkirk. Uh, I am super, today. super full, guys. I had like five bean burritos today, homemade oh. for dinner. And you're going to complain that if I fart? <laughs> I can muffle mine, Bill. <laughs> I farted tons of times on the show. And I don't ever do it loud enough for the for the microphones to pick it up. That's true. <laughs> Ooh, I'm looking forward to reading Batman Detective Comics issue 400. <laughs> the Challenge of Man Bat. <laughs> From June of 1970. Yep, I know that one. I well, my print. date... My... The, my, the date that my date for the DC Comics chapter I'm working on is from 1955 to 1970. So it's one of hard Silver Age stuff. Because it was starting in 1970 that they re ramped the series and the, a lot of the uh, artists and Silver Age people retired. Yeah, they and made new him people dark. Came in. They, they made him dark again. Well, yes, they went more back to the old things because... Um, no, man, I'm Batman. <laughs> no, 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 him being a dark character. character, character. Because yeah, it, that's still uh, not good. Oh, Danny O'Neill took over. Yeah. Well, I gotta he be a dark back, character, uh, man. He went back to when uh, Bob Kane was doing everything. Well, <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, but not quite as silly as... Because the, the Bob Kane stuff in the 40s is okay. pretty silly. Okay. I uh, I just looked through the trending news on Facebook and the top trending news on Facebook right now. Angry Taco Bell employee accused of beating boss with hot burrito. <laughs> Stuff like this funny. makes me wish we were still doing the mental cast because this would definitely be something we would be talking about. He got papoed with a burrito. He was KO'd by a burrito. K.O. Oh, I see. So apparently the woman who did it uh, had uh, melted cheese from burrito splatter. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Let me read the fucking story because I I feel like this needs to be read now. 
Hold on. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Spartanburg, South Carolina. Oh, Lord. Bear with me. It's been a while since I've done this. <clears throat> One Taco Bell employee in South Carolina is giving new meaning to fast food. Spartanburg police say an employee who was upset after being assigned a morning shift threw a hot burrito at a supervisor. The incident all happened on Monday after the supervisor allegedly told the employee to stop being a crybaby right before she was beamed. The woman had turned away when melted cheese from the airborne burrito splattered her left arm, side, and leg. Police say the irate fast food worker didn't stop there. He also took off his headset, broke it on his knee, and stormed out. No arrests have been made, and workers say there have been no further burrito casualties. He, he, she was beamed. Get it? Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Beth Phoenix has big boobs. Ba -da -ba -ba -da Baps. Well, we already played a game of what is Mike drinking a little while ago while we were off stream, but we're, we're going to do it again. What is Mike drinking now? Or about Dew. root beer. Uh, nope, it is neither of those things. Uh, the, for, the, for reference, the thing I was drinking last was a 20-ounce bottle of Mountain Dew Ice. It's basically just um, Sierra you're Mist or Sprite sh with caffeine. Schlitz malt liquor. No, it is not liquor-based. Is it a citrusy product? It is not a citrusy product. Is it a cola? Uh, I would not say this is a cola. Is it a ginger ale? Yeah, you're getting warmer. Werner's ginger ale? You're, uh, yeah, Billy got it. I am drinking Werner's ginger ale. Good job. You don't win anything Yay. for that, but you win the no. satisfaction of guessing it. The, the satisfaction of knowing that you, you guessed what I was drinking before anybody else. A Kobayashi Maru. <laughs> well, no, because you won, first of all. But I Unless, won nothing. No, that's not what a Kobayashi Maru is, Bill. I know I know what a Kobayashi Maru Kobe is. Kobayashi I'm Maru is an unwinnable situation, which is that is far from. Unless you cheat. Unless you're Kirk, yeah. <laughs> the only man who uh, in existence who has ever defeated the Kobayashi Maru simulation. Yes. Though they sort of changed the parameters after he learned to cheat on it, apparently. Mm-hmm. And made it more interesting. Hello, Adam Bednarchik of Adam Bednarchik Land. Benarchekos. Benarchekos. I assume we're all ready to go here. So let's do it. Let's do it, do it. Let's do it. MVG Live is brought to you by Epic Level Games, the home of retro classics and current generation games and systems, pen and paper RPGs, collectible card games, game nights, events, and more. Go to epiclblgames.com slash mvglive and use the promo code mvglive to get 5% off your first order of $50 or more. Epic Level Games, gaming on a whole new level. <gasps> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to MVG Live. Today, we're playing Super Mario World. I'm your host, Mike Riley. With me is Mark and Dane and Billy, and we're going to get started. Hello. You kind of turned into Casey Kasem. Hi, welcome to, welcome to MVG Live. Today, welcome we're going to take on the Mario Top So, um, I'm having a can of pop as well. Do you <laughs> guys want to take a guess at what I'm having? You're drinking Canada Dry. Nope. You're, You're drinking... drinking Shit. <laughs> Is it a I'm not actually a big okay. fan of... Is it a ginger ale? No, no it's not is a it, ginger ale. Is it a soda uh, or cola of some kind? Yes. Okay, is it a store brand coda, cola? Uh, yes. Okay, I don't know... But it's a specialty, it, but I got it for here during uh, Christmas. It was a special one that you don't normally not normally able to get up here. 
Is it Mountain Dew Holiday Dew? Christmas? No. Yes. No, because he said it was a store brand, though. That's a Mountain Dew is not a store brand suddenly? No. It's fetched to my collar. No, oh my God. Have you ever have you ever have you ever bought have you ever bought a have you ever bought a Mountain Dew from the Mountain Dew store, Dane? As a matter of fact, I did just the other day. <laughs> In this just case, it's it. Uh, I bought it from a, a place called the Real Canadian Superstore, where I got it in a pack of like twenty-four of them. Oh my god! Uh, I, I don't know. The Real Canadian Superstore. There's actually some people in the uh, chat who have been close. It's a can of uh, cherry Coke. RC RCSS. Cherry Cola. What is RC? The Royal Canadian Superstore. Cherry <laughs> Cola. Royal there Canadian is actually a there, there is a there is a real Canadian superstore, but no no Royal Canadian Superstore. No, it's a it's a Cherry Coke I'm drinking. Is it the Royal Canadian Kilton Gaxman? Oh no! Well, that was quick. Good night, you. everybody. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bye. Well, I guess we're gonna have to play GeoGuessr now. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Mark Mark has a huge boner for that game. Yeah, he does. It's yeah. fun to play. I like learning. I, mean, I, I no. suspect that Mark secretly refinances that game, and like every time somebody plays it, he gets like twenty dollars. I wish. Hey, Mike, prefer... you should totally play GeoGuessr. You fucking piece of shit. I prefer to be happy about save the internet, but at least I don't say it a lot. On the bright news, it's a couple of more a week or two more until the next uh, humble bundle is released for the monthly bundle. And until until Mike gets his monthly kickback, I, I mean present from uh, Mark. <laughs> uh, so cheer, Kessa, Will Canadian Superstore Edition. Got it, Adam. I'm 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 telling you right now, I will fucking punch you in the mouth. <laughs> You will fly over there. I will fly to your... I will fly the, the 19 hours to Australia. And then after I visit the Sydney Opera House, because I've always wanted to go there, I will punch you in the mouth. And then I will fart in your mouth, because I will be going with them. The Grundle well, Bundle? That's, Bill, you, that's, Bill, that's Bill, that sounds completely this, different. Bill, you just you just turned something normal into something extremely weird. Come on, what's going on, buddy? I'll give him a hot Carl. Well, I can tell you that there is one game that Mike will be getting off of next month's Humble Bundle that What's I that? don't really have. Do tell. Uh, it looks like uh, the early reveal is there's Owl Boy. Oh, interesting. What? Uh -huh. I've never actually oh, played I that game. Who? <laughs> Owl Boy, I should say who? Yeah. Who? <laughs> it looks like it's a. Uh, um, it's a story-driven adventure game where you fly and explore a brand new world in the clouds. Uh -huh. so. Okay, well, that is exactly uh, what you think it is. Though. I would, I would say that this game takes me back, but I was just playing it earlier today. <laughs> takes you back to earlier today, then. Yeah. <laughs> it takes me I back used to, to play this game, but that was way back there. Yeah. yeah. All the way over there. You know what makes me? Uh, Makes me want to fire up my Switch and play Super Mario <laughs> Odyssey. Makes me want to fire my employees. No. What am I, the U.S. government? Um. I guess. <laughs> I was playing I... Ultraman earlier today, too. But yeah, no, I want to play... Uh... Get back to playing uh, Super Mario Odyssey now that I've beaten uh, oh, Hack G Hack G U. Okay. I've beaten four games so far this year. Oh wow, la dee da, Mr. Frenchman. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not French. Well, I probably might have some in me. I was in a French the other day. Sticking your dick in a baguette doesn't count. I know. Well, I'm glad you. I'm glad you know. It was like, ooh la la, ooh la la. Thank oh you, my Chris. Ass is Thank so you, 
Thank you, Craig Ferguson. Is this a NES? This is a Super Nintendo game, right? Yes. Yes, it is NES. It was, this Mark. is the game you got when you bought it. Mark, if you didn't know that, just turn in your video game card. Well, I couldn't yeah. remember if the uh, if it was this one or you. I was watching in the um, what one is it? Um, games done quick where they were playing the baby one, and I couldn't remember. Uh, That's uh, Yoshi's Island. Super Mario World mm -hmm. Two, Yoshi's Island. They uh, this game right here, Mark. When you bought a Super Nintendo, this is the game that was packed in with it. I don't remember. I owned a Super Nintendo, but I don't remember if it was had a game packaged with it because I got rid of it so long ago. Well, uh, it came with a, it came with it a first... version of uh, Corner Gas. <laughs> <laughs> Corner Gas isn't all that old, <laughs> Brent. But <laughs> Baby Mario a... didn't have a mustache. He's not you, Mark. Also, you know, Atlas Shrug was also packed in with it, but that didn't do so well. No. I kids don't Ayn go. Rand. Yeah, as I say, kids don't go for Ayn Rand. <laughs> yeah. The game was like, the game was 27,000 hours long. It spanned I, uh, 16 cartridges. I saw uh, a funny joke about uh, Atlas joke. Shrugged where, where it was like uh, one that completely makes you question everything and it's a fantasy world and a whole bunch of other things and the other game is full of has orcs can't remember the full joke but it was essentially making fun of atlas shrug mm, okay gee adam good... that was a great contribution i want to say <laughs> something but it will go to uh Dane saying he's coming to Australia and punch me in the mouth. And... No, 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 no. Go ahead. Just go ahead. Go ahead and say it. Say it. Adam, uh, everything you say uh, results in that. <laughs> what you're talking yeah. about. Not really a joke, but I was thinking uh, The Matrix. <laughs> yep, we're flying over there and punching you in the mouth. Yep, that's it. <laughs> I'm getting my plane ticket now. $7,000? Uh, never mind. Uh, well, you're it's worth it for a punch in the mouth. <laughs> you're saved for today. For now. For now. You're safe. Safe. All I have to do is jump on Bill's back and have his jet propulsion farts. <laughs> jet propulsion farts. Ah, uh, here's the joke. There are two novels that can change a bookish 14-year-old's life. The Lord of the Rings and Atlas Shrugged. One is a childish fantasy that often engenders a lifelong obsession with its unbelievable heroes, leading to an emotionally stunted, socially crippled adulthood, unable to deal with the real world. The other, of course, involves orcs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hi, that's good. Yeah. It's an intelligent yeah, joke. I mean, I'll give it a D minus. I'll give it my D minus. <laughs> Mike wants to fuck I ran. You heard it here first. Uh, no. Something, something, somebody touched my spaghetti. Yeah. Thanks. Somebody touch my spaghetti. <laughs> somebody. Somebody. I don't know who this mad genius was, but somebody like touched my spaghetti. Together. Yeah. Besides that. Somebody mixed together the song All Star by Smash Mouth with the Somebody Touch My Spaghetti meme. <laughs> and it's somebody on the internet. I don't know who. Somebody on the internet. Touched. <laughs> somebody so touch my spaghetti. This spaghetti tastes like piss. Oh, it's a Pat's Blue Ribbon. <laughs> yes, it's that's blue ribbon. <laughs> it's the that's shit, made, as they say in. That's who made the mess up. Blue, uh, <laughs> blue velvet. Yeah, no. Hi, Nick. Oh know, yeah, I guess we're recording an episode of Dark Word soon, ish. Soon ish. Do you know how they make Pat's blue ribbon? Justin Trudeau pees in bottles, and he just sells it. Oh god! Well, it explains his family's wealth. Shit. Killiggy! 
Apparently he's coming to my city next month. He's coming for to his town you. hall. He has to get his penicillin. Ah. Ah. So <laughs> going to be doing a town hall meeting. He's Mr. apparently Trudeau. touring the country, so... Mr. Trudeau, how does it feel to be so goddamn handsome? Well, uh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Was that, was that Andy Kaufman in, in his grave? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Thank you very much. Andy Kaufman. Snarf Horde Citrus Bums. Along. That's a new one. Snarf Horde Citrus Bums. New name for just come up with new names for dartboard. Fucking Jeremy's passion product, and we're making fun of passion project. It's not brother. like he's been on it in months. So. True, that's fair. I don't even know when he's gonna actually host an episode again. January seventh, twenty twenty one. Mark your calendars, down. Yeah, sounds about right. Hi, I'm Jeremy Garcia. I've watched eight million movies. Today we're gonna go see uh, Goonies Seven. So very tired. Actually, we prefer to watch C Lab Twenty Twenty One, the movie. You know, goddamn well that's not a movie. It will well, be. the movie that we're doing on Dartboard Cinema, God I haven't it. seen since two thousand one, but I remember it well enough that I can talk about it. Especially having read the book. Friday, okay, cool. Ashley says Friday for the... The Count of Monte Cristo, the uh, 2000 era one. The Guy Pierce one, alright. Yeah, the one with, uh, the one with the guy who played Dumbledore. He had the... Oh, he got a cape! Damn it. You don't got a cape. I had a cape. Don't do it. Don't do it. He do it. I do it. Yoshi. The breakout character. Ah, shit. Yeah, Yoshi. Yoshi had a really bad drug problem in 1997. Yes, it uh, it cost him. Uh, it cost him nearly cost him his job for a while, but he eventually rebounded with the Super, uh, the Mario Party games. Yeah, the reason why he and Birdo are a couple is because Birdo got him into rehab. Mm-hmm. I'm really glad everybody is is okay with this this story. Like no one's like, don't don't say that about. I wasn't you. questioning it. No, I wasn't questioning it. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, like it's like Mati from uh, from Captain Planet died of an overdose in 1999. <laughs> yeah, that was really sad. Yeah. It was not so much now. So no. he doesn't have any heart. Uh, no. No. Well, no, he's rotting in the ground. Herdo gave him a second chance and a big old mouth hole. What the fuck. Yeah, the first time he stuck his tongue in her nose. Oh, it was love, baby. He's like, yes, 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 the process. Uh, why is I was gonna say why is Gollum fucking Yoshi? That's an uh... excellent question. Seriously, Andy Ugh. Circus, what are you doing there? Andy Circus, why are you fucking a video game character? <laughs> I want to go to the Andy Circus. I want to know yeah. when the next Tintin movie's coming out. Uh, Probably the, never. The 12th of May. Uh, yeah, po sadly never. I mean, I don't know if I spill back. the one. pipe, Diage? Trying. I do know Pacific Rim 2 is coming out Shit. this year. Yeah, the trailer came out. Damn it. I'm Bye, not Yoshi. sure what to make of the movie. Mm. We'll just have to wait and see then. I mean, maybe it's a good sequel or maybe one of those 
sequels that didn't work out. Who knows? I'm just happy The Shape of Water got 13 nominations. Yeah, it was filmed in Canada, I'm in very Toronto. About that. Finally, Guillermo del Toro was getting some recognition. I, I I just love the fact that Jordan Peele's getting some love for Get Out. Oh yeah, Jordan Peele, man. I'm like, I'm, I hope he wins, and so it's a movie, but it's Oscar, so who knows? I mean, everybody and their mother knows that Gary Oldman's gonna win Best Actor this year. Yeah, that's probably gonna happen. And he's go and he's gonna do a Oscar speech in which he thanked Winston Churchill. Oh, uh, it's about fucking time you guys gave me an Oscar. I sh- I should have won an Oscar for Lost in Space, but I get that it's a bad movie. I should have won. I think a for bad Sid- movie is an understatement. I should have won for Sid and Nancy, but that's neither mm. here nor there. Well, Sid and Nancy's awesome, actually. I I know. <laughs> it's lost in space. That's terrible. Yeah. Uh, I saw that movie in theaters. Uh, you poor, you poor, you poor baby. I remember when Pizza Hut used to have the deal of where when you ordered pizza, uh, you could get a DVD, and one of them was for. I remember two of the four in Canada you got. One was Master of Disguise, and the other one was Lost in Space. <laughs> You opted for uh, Master of Disguise. No, I didn't get either, because I don't eat at Pizza Hut. Oh. Well, that makes you a pizza slut. Oh! Bad. No, I support a local... Uh, we, we eat at a local pizza place. Which pipe is it? It's the green pipe. So it's the green, okay. That first one there. Thing. It's a nice pipe. It's a nice pipe. Is it's either it that though? or the... It must be the second one then. Yeah, there it is. There we go. Well, it's nice to see that football's popular in the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> Get to fly up. The whole. Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 oh. Welford Brimley in. In dangerous liaisons. <laughs> yeah, I, don't gotta, I don't gotta fly nothing. The Maple Moose experience? There, where do you come up with this naming scheme? Uh. What, you think that for th- we put, instead of tomato sauce on our pizzas in Canada, we put maple syrup on it. That's that's fucking disgusting. That is disgusting. I'm glad we don't. Maple sauce is good on other things, but not pizza. I'm Gary Oldman, and I should have won the Oscar for the movie uh, Dracula. Request for Camelot. Mm-hmm. I should have, I should have won for Leon the Professional. Was he in Leon the Professional? Yeah. yeah. Another good movie you know to check really out. Have, you know who really should have won is Jean Reno. Oh, well, to yeah. be fair, there's two cuts of that film. There's the international version, which is apparently awesome, and then there's the American version, which is apparently terrible. I wouldn't say terrible. I would say more like uh, not quite as as uh, better as the international cut. Ah, uh, sixteen-bit music. Who is the composer for this game? Uh, if I had to guess, Koji Kondo probably. Koji Kondo is a national treasure. Yes. God damn it. For fuck's sake. Damn it. God, these fucking baseballs. It's like we're playing a game of bas- basketball. 
No, no, we're not. Are you ready? Yes. Good. How come those uh, uh, Koopas are not blinking red to show that they have cape? Uh, they don't all have capes. No, I know, but usually when... Oh, never mind, I can... they faintly, uh... Thanks, Bill. What I do? Clip the audio. That wasn't me. Well, I'm blaming you anyway. It may or may not have been me. Well, to be fair, it's usually you, so. Yeah. Alright, I'm reading what Ashton wrote. Oh, Ashley, there's not, not much uh, sex on the international card as well. It's just a bit of a, in you, like, a implied. So. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. In January? Uh, so both the theatrical and international Well, I mean, if somebody's playing ki the Kingdom Hearts levels. Or Kingdom Hearts 2 level. Hopefully it doesn't reappear Kingdom in Kingdom Hearts, Hearts 3. More like Kingdom Farts. <sighs> Am I right, folks? Am I right? Am I right, folks? Uh, I yes. Right? Yes, Mike. Yes, Mike, you're right. Riley? I'm you're sorry, right. I don't uh, know the answer to this question. Am I Mike right, Riley? Folks? Like Carlos Mencia, am I right, lady? Huh? <sighs> Did you say I like Carlos Mencia? <laughs> yes, I like a thief? You like, the com you like the comedian who steals jokes. That could be any number of comedians. That's true. Might be Amy Schumer for we know. I don't definitely don't like Amy Schumer. <laughs> but Amy she does Schumer. But she does. Who is so desperate? Sex. Who is so desperate for attention that she got her left tit out on uh, that movie she did with Goldie Hawn. That vacation movie. Yeah, whatever it was called. Yeah, the uh, Goldie Hawn wants a vacation. That's literally what it's called. Goldie Hawn wants a vacation. Ah, damn it. I thought it was called. I thought it, I thought it was called an actor and a has been. Hey, hey that's, like that's like. one of the many alternate titles for several movies. So Amy Schumer's the oh, has fine. been, and Goldie Hawn's the actor. Yes. Or actress oh, and has been. Yeah, Goldie Hawn's still with Kurt Russell, and he's still an actor. So yeah, it makes sense. Damn it! Damn it! That damn fish got you. It was fishing around. Going with the fish pants. The wannabe milf. <laughs> the wannabe what? I would call a uh, my wanting to be a mother. And even if she was a mother, she wouldn't be one I'd like to f. Who? Shroomer? Shroomer. <laughs> Shroomer, Shroomer. The joke is that unless Amy F, Shroomer is actually just a giant the, mushroom. Unless the F is fine face down in a river. <laughs> <laughs> She's one of the... Amy Shroomer's one of the victims of the It monster. Or one of the forms, maybe. Yeah... The only thing is she fled quickly away and will be forgotten about. Damn it! Saw it. Damn it. Damn it, Janet. Why did you do this to me? Which reminds me, I saw it uh, remake a few a couple weeks ago and it's pretty good. Yeah, it's just the children's part and then they're hoping to do a 
the sequel, which features the that, adult stuff later. Yeah, that makes that makes more sense, really. You know what wrestler in NXT I've been liking a lot lately? What? Thanks, that? Mike. Thanks. What? Lars oh. Sullivan. <laughs> okay, uh, thanks, Mike. I'll go find some female nudity and pose it as a counterpoint. <laughs> Good counterpoint. <sighs> Literally any woman you post could be a good counterpoint. You could post Roseanne naked, and it would be a good oh, counterpoint yeah. to that. Uh, <laughs> no. Why? Why does Amy Schumer have a fucking chihuahua coming out of her shirt? That's her boot. <laughs> that's her titty. Oh shit. <laughs> I would have also accepted. Why is why, why is uh, Amy hiding a pepperoni pizza in the top of her shirt? I'll buy that for a dollar. Would Not you? Not really. You want to buy Amy really, Schumer's titty like, like, for a dollar? Not really. Looks like she has Brendan Fraser in a headlock. <laughs> are you, are you saying? Headlock. Are you saying Brendan Fraser is a tit? Yes. I mean, his acting career has kind of gone tits up. Oh. It's Stupid not Stupid fish. He's trying at least. Puffy, like, find any puffy nipples for Adam. He loves them. Puffy, puffy perf tits. <laughs> puffy perth tits. Who the? Who said that? What? Ashley. In, uh... Uh... Amy Schumer does not have puffy nipples. Let me tell you. She has pepperoni nipples. <laughs> Even Me's... pepperonis. I will get away from her. Took you long enough to start heaving at the sight of Amy Schumer there, Mar Billy. I haven't even looked at the picture. <laughs> Good, done. That's just Amy Schumer with her titty out. <laughs> exactly. Ah. Alright, I think I found But You know what kind of annoys me? Most of the hate from... Most of the hate that she gets now is mostly because, oh, oh she doesn't like Trump. Oh, where? That ain't why I don't like her. That's not. Uh, did, I, did, no. I, did I say you? <laughs> no. Okay. See, no, God damn fish. it. No. Damn fish. Damn fish. Somebody the other day asked me about her. I said, I don't find her funny. And they got angry at me. Who, Amy Schumer? Yeah. I well, said, I, I don't find her funny. They're like, what do you mean you don't find her funny? I'm well, like, I mean, she does jokes about how her pussy smells like a barn. Yeah, that's how I brought that up. And I said, and I don't find those funny. <laughs> yeah. It's not funny it's actually, if it's true. I like. Actually, on the contrary, it's actually kind of gross. <laughs> I like jokes where they have some context and uh, uh, thought put into them. Yeah, you don't want somebody to just come out and be like, my pussy smells like anthrax. Even <laughs> even Lana Del Rey explains her pussy better than Amy Schumer. No, it's, it literally smells like the band anthrax. I don't know. Oh, it's pretty well, bad. Well, it's... Maybe she was tits or like a thorn in your eye. We're all together now. Da, 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 da. Bunch of pubic hair. Bunch of pubic hair. There, I post a good pick. <laughs> Counterpoint locked. Ah, for fuck's sake. Hello, Margot Robbie. Margot naked, Robbie. Naked in Wolf of Wall Street. Of course, you picked the Australian actress. I picked the hot actress. It doesn't matter if she's Australian or not. Which sure. she is, yes. Hi, everybody. Did you see my naked body in Wolf of Wall Street? Did you see my naked body? Oh, look I'm at the boobies. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't show my naked body in Suicide Squad. It was PG-13. You, you will live. 
But there's actually would've... there's actually a a, a a director's cut of the movie which that was filmed. All my scenes were naked. <laughs> there is somebody who did actually do a scene with CGI where she's not wearing. They they took the bra off that she wears when she's putting on her daddy's little girl shirt. Do you know how long somebody had to stare at Margot Robbie's tits in order to do that? <laughs> I don't know if it's somebody else's or hers that in the clip. Scarring the little girl? Well, yeah, it was with, with ska, uh, ska music? <laughs> Depends on what uh, oh. what depends on what ska music it is or what punk rock band it is. If it's Anal Cunt, probably. I can use my iframes to get past you, Mucka. Mada Mucka. Mada Muck. Are you schmuck? Ninja kick the damn fish. There we go. And rabbit. It took 87 tries, but I doed it. You did it. Well, you haven't died yet, so that's good. Uh, uh, no, no, I meant where he has to do the continue screen. I haven't game over yet, is what you mean. I've died several times. Yes, sorry, I meant game over screened. I was about to say, are you watching a different stream, Mark? <laughs> He's watching a speedrunner. Wow, not only have you not died, you're also halfway through the game. That's impressive. Wow. I only watch speedrunners now. Damn it. I didn't get enough of a running head start. Damn it. Damn it, Janet. Hello, Billbot85. Hello. Not you. Uh, the other Bill that I know. My Jace's name friend. is Bill, but I know uh, you do. Is, what's a, is that actually Billy or is that somebody else? <laughs> somebody else. Stop somebody me. else named Bill. Hello. Well, it is a pretty common name. My name is Blowjobtron3000. Would you like me to service you? That's so 2000 and late. That was actually a joke from Jacksepticeye. I can't take credit for that. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Not now, slow job, John. Not now, blow job, John. Ah. TKO. TKO. Challenge everything. EA games pay for everything. Well, you're not wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I found it funny at the uh, video game awards. They're like, Lord, uh, <laughs> um, microtransactions in a console game? Isn't that the stupidest idea? <laughs> <laughs> They've been in them for years. Next well, DLC that we're going to see from uh, EA is uh, they're going to have DLC for uh, controls. You're gonna actually be able to control the game now once you buy the you DLC. Want the A button, you gotta pay two ninety nine. Well, what's interesting is is that there are some people saying that uh, with how disastrous the launch of uh, Battlefront Two was, that Disney might consider when the contracts up of uh, movie moving away from having uh, EA do the um, games. Yeah. Because they've had nothing but problems with them and it's a profitable franchise it's just being handled poorly by go to konami they would do a good job no they're no, too no, busy not, with oh, wait not not konami i mean capcom go to capcom actually would we'll say fuck konami in a second yeah they would just make star wars pachinko machines and they'd only be available in japan i meant capcom they should go to capcom they did good with capcom before You know what I mean? 
Hopefully I'll go to Telltale Games. Telltale Games aren't that bad. Telltale does really good. I got the Batman game. It was free this month for uh, PlayStation Plus members. Yeah, the whole game. Entire. Yeah, it's the season one. No, season one. You can get all of them. You can get all of the uh, the uh, chapters because it gives you a um, season pass. Mm-hmm. I have it downloaded. I just haven't actually played it yet. I was busy playing Hack GU. Now that that's done, I can move on to other games. I uh, I got the whole uh, t uh, hell whatever the Batman game. I got that. Yeah, their uh, Borderlands game, Tales from the Borderlands, is hella fun. The uh, the Batman, I I, I like the uh, it's it's a lot of quick time events. Well, that's but, the uh, way they that's the way the Telltale games are done is quick time. Their Game of Thrones is like that as is their. Uh, well, that sucks. Their uh, Walking Dead. Walking Dead, yeah. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy. I have not played that one. Neither have I, but I know that it's out they're there. Not, they're not difficult either. That's what I like No, about. and most of the time... Did you the see that fucking MLG moment there? Yeah. I slid under the piranha plant. And, uh... The majority of Damn the, it. uh... I followed up with this dumb moment. The majority of the games are... The achievements are pretty much for just playing the game, so... Or the Telltale ones. It's so. funny, Mike's almost done with the game. No, I'm not. Not even close. Not even close? No. What gave He's you that like idea? He's only in the first world. Yeah. Technically. There's like nine of them, isn't there? Seven. Or, yeah, seven, seven and seven and then well, Bowser's Castle. If you want to get technical, there is a way to get to Bowser in a quick way. Doing the time warp again? Yes. How did you know? Fox, switch it up, Brian. That's how. I'm FDR. Is this going to be a 100% complete run? I don't know yet. I thought about it. How many people are playing this on Twitch right now? Uh, I think at last count it was like a thousand seven hundred people. This game we're right viewing here. this. We're viewing this. Yeah, we're viewing not this, not our stream, but the game. I know. That's what I meant. I mean, so that wow. Yeah, it's still a popular game. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's always been popular. Well, it is a, one of the classics of the sixteen-bit uh, era. One of the best Mario... Oh, of course, a lot of the Mario games are good. There's not very many bad ones. Just the the uh, CG... Not the CGI ones. The uh, Hotel Mario. Even that the one's just... It's not bad. It's just monotonous. You have to open all these doors. I mean, it's not a bad game. It's just very monotonous and frustrating. Yeah, one to gamble on. That's a shit game. Yeah. I wonder what the worst Super Nintendo game was ever released. Um, Nintendo game. Good question. Well, some people say Bubsy, but I'm like, there's worse. Nah, Bubsy, Bubsy, I can play with. I played it with before when I was a kid. So. I played with my Bubsy in public. <laughs> That's Hong why Kong I like that. Hong Kong '97. Yeah, sure. Uh, maybe that, but even that is uh, probably, quite unquote the game. I would say Shaq Fu, probably. Supernova Arc 3D. Mm. No, I, no, Supernova's Arc 3D is uh, actually... There's nothing uh, the uh, wrong I, with I that, got, it's just a Doom clone. Yeah. Okay, I got one, I got one. Baby's Kids. Okay, yeah. That shit is Baby's Kids. I think I'm gonna go back and do the other ghost house so I can find the, uh... 
There's another secret area that I can get I, to. I could agree with that. That probably is the worst. There's no argument there. I would say Shaq Fu. Shaq Fu's actually playable, though. That's the thing. It's terrible. But it's no Bebe's Kids. And yeah, actually, it's Bebe's Kids. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I remember them doing Bebe's Kids on uh, it's, something uh, to do with the Nostalgia Critic or something. It's is Home Improvement for SNES NES playable, or does it suck as well? It's playable, but it's confusing. Uh. You don't get an instruction manual. Oh, yeah. Ooh, the creepy boo, boo music. Creepy B music? Boo music. And, and still creepier than Medea's boo. But not creepier than Medea's boo bees. Well, yeah. Which goes about I, that goes without saying. Alright, I seem to recall a game I played a long time ago that I hate. And it's, uh, I think it's called Rap Cham Poly M1 or something. Like, I remember the reason I play, uh, want to play the game is because I heard Coolio was in it, and this was back in the 90s, so... I need to get... I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. I found this weird picture on Twitter while searching my... ...timeline. Uh-huh. Get a backup one as well. Just in case. Yeah. Baby kid, man. Baby. That's your baby, baby, baby kids. Man. I thought that shit was bananas. B A N A N S. Mm hmm. Listen. I don't, even, I don't even know if I spelt it right. I don't know. We'll have to ask. Phone up Gwen Stefani and ask. Huh. Anybody excited about the WB making some Dr. Seuss movies? And Hanya says, no. <laughs> um, I thought I got the regular ex or the secret exit there. What happened? I guess not. Um, the, uh... the WB. You have to fly up there. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I don't think you can fly up there. There's so many ghosts in the way. It's the maybe. W maybe it's in the other section of this level. Hold on a second. Wick, wick, wickety whack. Nope. No, it's not in the other section of the level. Well, that sucks. Yeah, because I thought that was a secret exit. But as it turns out. That is not the case. I really, I really. Wait a minute! Oh damn it! There I is. think I know. Okay, I think I know what I gotta do. All the ghosts are Mario's previous lives. That's a fun uh, theory. Fun theory, yeah. Huh? Hey, I found a match. Mill Maskers versus the Destroyer. That's a lovely deal. Oh. Electra! I don't think you can take the P-Switch with you. First time I heard your cat's name in a long while. Yeah, no, you can't. Yeah, 
was almost certain this was a secret exit, but maybe it is in the first one. First room. I have to avoid all the ghosts to get it, though. Because I know there's like a top secret area. Mhm. Mm 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 Oh, well, there you go. And I will try to do the first room on the fly up. I, was, I thought the secret exit was in a different place because I figured like the first room would be hard to get up to because of all the ghosts. But maybe not. No, oh. no! Oh, shit. All the way to the left, not the right. Oh. Cheekyo. Wish I'd have known that. I'll keep my safety cape and get another cape. Sounds like a plan, Stan. Did you guys hear Elton John's going on a three-year farewell tour yeah mm, yeah i heard also heard that uh wash ah, and slayer are, are quitting as well and neil diamond is retiring for chilling as well yes thanks we talked about that yesterday actually okay well i wasn't here yesterday so uh apparently ricardo is uh Angry about the stream, jokingly manner in a joking manner, of course. Excuse me. Oh damn it! Welcome uh, to the WB. Oh. Dear Mike, I don't like when your co-host burp and fart on the stream signed a whiny cuck. <laughs> I didn't know Michael Moore was watching our stream. Give me the... Oh, for fuck's sake. Good. Son. I do want to complain him about Fahrenheit 911 and calling for Columbine. Hickety dickety hickety dickety hickety dickety fuck balls. You can leave the stage? Yep, start and select. After you be in the stage, of course. Yes. Ah, that makes sense. You gotta find you gotta you gotta find the secret uh door Trying. for the lives. Remember, kids, don't consume transparent shrooms. I'm just gonna go out the door this time. Fuck it. Ricardo, so... Because you go to hell before you die. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. alrighty, then. There we go. Told you. Top secret area. Now you can grab as many lives as you want. True. And I don't need to go back for a safety cape. Oh, you can't start select out of this. That's all right. It's not like it's more than one screen. Yeah, it's only one screen. Is this going to be 45 minutes of you doing this now? Possibly. Oh, no. I blame uh, Dane. Everybody start masturbating. Oh, 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 Chelsea. I mean, I, I, I think I, I think that might have been a poor choice of words. I'm sorry. 
So sorry. I'm tired of being tired. Super Mario the grindering, yeah. The grinder, the grindening, sorry, not the grindering. Oh, I want to get the date with the hot guy. <laughs> <laughs> Put the weenie in Batushi. Actually, Grindr is a site where we meet up to have uh, sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's hoagiesandgrinders.com. Oh, oh, I almost God, didn't get that one. <laughs> this is just fucking fantastic, folks. Yeah. Mamma mia, she had some grande boobalas. Excuse me? Are we talking about Chelsea or. With the big old boobies. This is Sparta! This is difficult to watch. I'll difficult your watch. The I'll battery's dead, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, that would make it difficult. Alright, that's enough. I'll stop for now. 32 All lives right. is plenty. Ha. <laughs> ha. Hopefully. I hate this level. Actually, I beat it already, so we can move on. <laughs> Forgot about well, that. Tonight's, tonight's episode of MNG Live, Mike skips all the levels of Super Mario World. Here comes well, this he's one. beaten them before, <laughs> so he can skip them. Yeah. You get that blue one, you can fly. I believe I can fly. I have two ports of this game. I have it for the Game Boy Advance, and I have it for my Super Nintendo. One for the Game Boy Advance has a lot of extra features to it. It's really good. Yeah, they are good at that. Mm -hmm. Now there went uh, Yoshi. The Yoshi. Not you Yoshi. Guys, uh... mm. You guys hear that the prisoner is becoming a comic book? The 1960s TV series? Did you guys yes. hear that uh, the prison bitch is becoming a comic book? I haven't heard about that. <laughs> I should have found my uh, leader of the prison bitches society. Son of a dick. Yes, my son. <laughs> It's fat Morgan Freeman. Yes, my Ah, uh, Morgan Freeman's in the second, uh, the in the second um, game of uh, Thrones. The fractured butthole, and uh, he works at a talking ah, place. Ah, fuck. I work at a taco place. And buy tacos. You know, you could just go back to the. You know, you could go back to that one place and you know and feel up. You know, get a Yoshi. Oh, oh, yeah, fill up. I th sound like you said I could go back to that one place and feel up. Feel up who? <laughs> feel Yoshi eggs. Hey Yoshi, Yoshi you got again. some nice titties. Awesome. Yoshi got some titties. Yoshi's getting uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's bad enough that every time I stick my tongue out, you're punching me in the back of the head. Yeah, you think that's my fist. Go feel up. Oh, God. Mario. 
<laughs> hungry, hungry hippos. I'll be using my baby arm on you. Oh, oh yosh. Hungry, hungry hippos. Yeah, you, you, you'll stomp grapes. down on the ground. Just keep going, man. Just keep going. Go, go, go. And he flies gently to his death. <laughs> Not exactly. Sure. You fool! I tried. Yeah, you did. That's all we can ask for. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. Or, uh, D Dane. Whoever. I mean, we've only known each other 15 years. Right. Think by now. I think by now you'd know my voice, but... You've already known each other for almost 20 years, I mean... <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> You're welcome, Brian. Thanks, Johan. Strauss. Thank you, You're welcome, Stradivarius. <laughs> Shitty power band? What? <laughs> oh, that was dumb. My womp, 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 thwomp, thwomp. Why did you fall? I didn't even get close to you. I'm a thwomp. Hi, Dry Bones. Hi. Bwah, 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 bwah. Bwah, 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 Batman. Bwah, 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 bath salts. Bath salts. Nice to be. I was going to say, Mike, if you were going to get crushed by that thing, I was going to, like, you idiot. Fooled you. Let's see you play, Bill. I guess you're the, I guess you're the fucking science guy now. Bill, 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 Bill Carter. The farty Bill, 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 Bill Carter, Bill, the Bill, science farter. The farty gar. Farty gar. Bill Carter, the science farter. Fart, 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 Bill Farter, the science carter. Wait, I, I did it backwards. <laughs> now get out of there. Billy May's here. Billy May's here, back Brains. from the grave for sham wow fuck dick stick ass bitch. Sorry, I have Tourette's now. That was one of the. That was one of the things I had to trade in. What Tourette's? <laughs> yeah, you had to have. If you wanted to come back, you had to have Tourette's. Hi, <laughs> Billy. I... Fuck, Dick May's here. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Smegma here. <laughs> shit. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. 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 Smegma. Billy May's back from the dead to sell you fucking bullshit you don't need. Like a slap chop to the dead. That's uh, Vince Offer, though. That's different. You gotta love my nuts. You gotta love my nuts. His you products want? are absolute shit. Would you like some OxyClean? I'd rather have some Oxycodone. <laughs> so would Offerman. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tourette's Billy Hayes here for for Miracle Fuck! <laughs> Suck my nuck! <laughs> miracle Fuck. <laughs> That would be Miracle like fuck. if I had I had if I had sex with Rebecca Romaine. That'd be a miracle if we, fuck. If any of us had sex with Lana. Exactly. Without dying because of Rusev. That's why it was I was for the movie role. Uh, if I if I knew I could get away with it and Rusev wouldn't fucking break me in two. <laughs> yeah, it's true. That's why you need to write a script for the WWE movies and have it where 
you play and then have you play the care you play the character where you get to have fun with her and it's just you and Lon in a bedroom that's nothing to the movie it's just you <laughs> banging her <laughs> and like, Wait, I don't understand this a movie I don't understand this movie you have for me why do when I have to be movie... naked in all of it and this movie will have a post I have a feeling she'd off. probably be speaking with her actual American accent yeah, and this movie will have a post credit sequence. Hi, everybody. I'm Lana. To... Why do I have to fuck you in this movie? To Dick Nick and Science. There. Ah, no! Good! Oh, yeah, no, they have Lana play one of the strippers from Duke Nukem, so she flashes her tits to Duke Nukem, who is, as he was saying, is played by uh, Bong Wina. John Cena. Bong Wina? Yeah. The only, oh, the only bad, other bad thing about the Duke Nukem movie is that it's produced by Michael Bay's company. Platinum Dunes? Yeah. Oh, well, it God. seems like his neck of the woods, though. Think about it. Yeah, but it'll have a plot that makes no sense. Well, the game's mm -hmm. don't. Neither does Duke Nukem, so it kind of suits him. It'll just have John Cena just, just, slapping just, tits just, of an just, alien just, spaceship. Just, just, just think about this. It's not Uwe Boll doing it. Fair point. Well, Uwe Boll's retired, so... I have to pick another bad director yeah, just, on video games. Yeah, just think about it. It's it's not going to be like a hour and a half trailer. The movie's going to be flushed out. It's going to have a plot, for the most part. Um, it's got to have fat jokes and product placements. Well, yeah, it suits him. You can do it with Duke Nukem. Duke Nukem had a lot of stupid advertisements in it and a lot of fart jokes. Well, those advertisements are fake, but I know, I'm but... assuming the movie. And, oh, I was going to say, and I'm just, given that place takes place in post-apocalyptic landscape, there's probably going to be cannibal dogs humping. Hmm. Just because. The only thing I'm hoping for Dick Nukem movie is if it's gonna have a good soundtrack, not some bad music like her. It just like it better just have all heavy metal. Maybe heavy metal, just, just not. Just no, just gut busting, hell raising heavy metal. Yeah, all, just not, the, not crap like uh, what Imagine Dragons doing nowadays or. Uh, oh, it better it better awful, be it, it better be like goes, it better be like goes, Slayer and oh, Slayer's with Murray, by the way. It will be old songs, by the way, I think. Well, it better have like Slayer or or King Diamond or It's all gonna be Barry Manilow. Halloween and just, <laughs> Barry Manilow. Just nasty, mean, grungy evil stuff. No, but yeah. it's all gonna be Barry Manilow. <laughs> old school stuff. And hopefully not a cliche old school stuff like how Adam Sandler throws music we already heard before in movies in his videos. No. Oh. Well, that was a complete and effective waste of a star? Talent. Yeah. Oh, people oh, say that about Adam sake. Sandler all the time. When I hit uh, jump, Mario, you jump! And the, the boss ooh, me. and the theme song must be good. Oh, I mean, for fuck's sake. No, nothing like For Our Boy or Missy Elliott type of crap. I don't think it, that crap was in... in... That's my this. Oh, God, God. Yeah. I'm thinking if there's some uh, good band that could do it. Actually, uh... the entire soundtrack of the new Duke Nukem movie is just going to be Duran Duran. <laughs> Because then they can have during a scene they can have wild boys, wild boys. Do now, do do do. Now, if, uh, if if it was done by Corn or Marilyn Manson, I wouldn't mind. Yeah, that, I, I was thinking something like that. Yeah, Corn, Marilyn Manson. I don't know. Maybe Papa Roach. No. Still Papa, no. no. Wild boys. Wild boys. Never losing. 
Yes, I I, that's why I said Duran Duran would be perfect Never for it. Never do it this them. way. A well, good soundtrack for that. Corn, Marilyn Manson, Pat Boone. Yeah, no, Pat Boone doing the two, the early two thousands. Yeah. Uh, Pat Boone used to be the neighbor of Ozzy Osbourne. I know the reference to that. Yeah. I was thinking of uh, Slayer done by Glenn Campbell. Though he's dead, but they can use his. They can dig up his corpse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can... Ooh. I'm thinking. Glenn, Glenn uh, Campbell singing this... Rain in Blood. Rain in Blood. Uh, or. Should this praise but done by uh, Michael Bublé? <laughs> you nah, got no. another thing coming. <laughs> breaking the law, breaking the law. He's breaking, breaking the law, breaking the law, breaking the law. Breaking the law, breaking the law. Hey, done by the kids, Bob kids. Ah, no, no, no. That's that's bad. <laughs> How about uh, Closer by Nine Inch Nails, done by the Kids Bob Kids? I wanna hug you like an animal. <laughs> I wanna, I hug wanna you like feel a you from the inside. Why did it they would not be change interesting that line? to see how the Kids Bob would actually uh, they wouldn't do be able that to do song. It. They couldn't do it. The song's just too inappropriate. Uh, I wanna to hug you like an animal. It has to be. It has to be something kid friendly, like uh, Katy Perry. It has to be something. It has to be something kid kill. Uh, fucking goddamn it! Apparently, no, no. Kill Katy friendly. Perry's uh, <laughs> record company is pissed off at her because her album only sold sixty thousand copies in the UK. Her newest one. Because uh, people are getting tired of her. God damn it, Katy Perry! You're supposed to be an international I do, superstar, I do not a national that, superstar. I do admit that one of her songs last year is actually okay, the "Chain to the Women," but her other songs also is, her yeah. haircut is stupid. It's like, hey, will you quit putting that backpack kid in every one of your music videos, please? Yeah, what happened? To, what happened to you being a uh, kept down in look Why the game pause? Uh, I thought I heard something. I'll be right back, guys. Okay. Right. You can always do, uh... Again... Cannibal Corpse is done by the girl who sang Friday, Rebecca Black. I, I would sing Cannibal Corpse song, but I don't know any Cannibal Corpse song, so I'm out. I mean, literally, all you have to do is go... Ooh, 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 ooh. Eh, 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 Friday, eh. Oh, oh, oh. But, but then again, we're back her black after Friday. I heard she's doing good after Friday. Like, she chopped the auto-tune thing off. Friday, Friday. Or you could always have the other the other song that that producer did with another person of uh, oh, the one, Chinese the one. food. Yeah, Everything the okay? So we didn't go anywhere. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm back. All right, false alarm. It was a false narrative that Mike won. <sighs> Thanks for the Thanks slowdown there, game. All right. We they could do uh, Nickelback songs, but done by Harry Connick Jr. That that would be fucking horrible. <laughs> Look, at this Look at this fucking piece of shit photograph. <laughs> if you ask Harry Connick Jr. to sing any Nickelback, he'd be like, "I am not singing their music." He'll prefer he'll prefer to sing Creed instead. Let's just sing Sorry. any song, but replace all the verbs with the word "fuck." Now, if you'll excuse me, fuck I have to go fuck, fuck, fuck. No, just the verbs, Bill. Oh. Fuck at this photograph. <laughs> Every time I fuck, it makes me fuck. <laughs> the first two albums of Nickelback aren't actually that bad. It's when they got into their third and later studio albums. Yeah, the album became... they released on 9-11. That was, uh, that was pretty much the starting point. You, pre or... you can pretty much say the same for Creed. 
Could have been dead on a Sunday morning, been in my hair. Yeah. So I don't actually, my I don't actually mind their photograph song that they did in like the mid two thousands. Did I leave the front door open? Yeah, actually, Creed's My Own Prison album is probably their only good album. It's got a lot of really good stuff on it, but that's the only good album they ever did because all the rest of their shit is just that. And didn't, yeah. uh, didn't the lead singer become homeless? Scott Stapp? Ross. He, he was, was homeless, homeless, yeah. And I also believe he did a porn with Kid Rock. Which is, which is forever unreleased. For good reasons, because he didn't release either. Ah! Oh, please don't bring up Kid Rock. He's doing yeah, the halftime I, show I, at the at the NHL All Star Game this weekend. I'd rather watch I'd rather watch the Tonya Harding wedding video than this. And I think that video. Ooh. Guys, guys, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I know you wouldn't get about guys, guys, I'm not a kidding. I'm not guys, a kidding. Guys, guys, car. guys, Put guys, that guys, down. guys, guys. I'm Australian. Yes, Brosif. Hey. <laughs> Brosif. Uh, yes, I'm evil Brosif all along. <laughs> now let's talk about that big cock. That... <laughs> done. I'm done. <laughs> he does say big cock a lot, uh, like on chats. But... That's because Bro subsequently wants to do men. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say he oh. secretly wants to do meth. That's why he shaved <laughs> his head. He wanted to be fucking Walt. He shaved his head? Yeah. Yeah? Well, if he's, if he's wearing that fucking hockey mask, he must do meth. <laughs> Jeez, savage. He, pref he prefers oh, to stop being a uh, meth demon, so he becomes Heisenberg. I've never, I've never hid my disgust for Brosov, and I told, and I have already, I've explained why I don't like him. Fair enough. Cause he's a snitch. Basically, yeah. <laughs> but there's other reasons. And he but has yet to it. get a stitch. There's other reasons, but I won't go into it. I got 500 video game pad controllers in my butt. Now, <laughs> 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 horse pad. <laughs> I just need to get some tea. I'll be back. <laughs> it's such a shame that Frank had to be a part of that circle because it's like, I liked Frank. Yeah. He seemed like a real down-to-earth kind of guy. True. Uh, although, although Frank hates professional wrestling. Well, Frank doesn't like a lot of things, it seems. <laughs> he says, I don't like it because it's fake. They said, do you like movies? They go, he goes, yeah. He goes, well. <laughs> yeah, movies are real, right? Yeah. So is everything on TV. Yes, The Last Jedi is a real documentary. So when people say they don't like wrestling because it's fake, I'm like, they just don't hold water. Sorry. I don't care. Look, I don't really care if wrestling is real or fake. It's just wrestling anyway. So. No, but there's people that they, they have this... Mentality. They're just like, I don't like it because it's fake. And I'm like, it just said it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Because uh, they have confusing storylines every now and then. Put it down. Ah! Put it down gently. I don't know how. Ah. <sighs> Aye, aye, aye. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it, Janet. There we go. No, I want Yoshi. 
Well, I'm oh. surprised Brosev didn't appear since we were talking about him. God damn it, stop on the pipe! Yep, he's like an annoying Beetlejuice. Brosev, Brosev, Brosev! I like car. Well, you had it here for us, from uh, Billy Cotto. Billy likes cock. <laughs> Stop doing a prosa voice. <laughs> sure, you yeah, sure. Sure, are. Yeah, Bob. Sure, sure, sure you were, Bill. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, and is, I once and I once stuck my face in between Linda Carter's boobies. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. I don't, I, don't, I don't even know what that means. Wonder Woman? Yes. No! The, pre the president from Sip It Go? Yes. <laughs> I know it's Wonder Woman, but I'll, I just want to go with that reference. Look at this. I thought she was taking over. I thought an alien was impersonating her. Well, she's an alien president. She's both an alien and a president. So she's still the president, and she's still an alien, so... Is she a good alien or a bad alien? Good alien. Was but she a Martian? Again, no. Just a different alien. Is she born in the United States? Because that's the only way you could be president. Not in Civic Girl Universe. Well, someone doesn't understand the U.S. government. <laughs> uh, just... It's know, a, just... based on a comic book TV show. They're allowed to get away with having... A, a Super Girl TV show is based on a comic book TV show? Well, I mean, it's based on the Superman TV show. Uh, okay. And it's based on the Legion of Superheroes TV show. Oh, I heard, I heard uh, Legion might pop up in uh, The Flash. I mean, they are popping. They are popping up in Supergirl, from what I heard too. Well, I mean, considering Supergirl has uh, the character of Monel on it, Super it's not a surprise. Girl. Yeah, Monel is uh, is like a right next to Brainiac Five as a well-known Legion member. Well, he was Valor for a while when he helped to seed the entire universe when they got rid of Superman as. Uh, being part of the early history of the Legion during that mm -hmm. yeah. horrible Goliath first. That post-crisis changes, yeah. The Goliath first from 89 to 94. Oh, uh, speaking of a uh, Legion, Mark, uh, did you weep, uh, what was it? Doomsday Clock by any chance? No. Because, well, I think the series, well, other than it being about Watchmen in a DCU, I heard uh, it's like uh, picking up plot, plot threads from uh, Legion and GSA. So who knows? Interesting. I, I have the first issue. I don't have the second one yet. Well, I won't spoil it, but second one is good, and I looked at a third one. Well, it's probably sold. It it's probably sold out by now. I. I haven't been to the comic book store in a while. Well, there so. might be a second print coming. You never know. Mm. All the orders. That what makes sick. me sad is is that with the fact that uh, Marvel or DC's that the the um, Guardians of the Galaxy is so popular, the Marvel the the Legion of Superheroes could be the B DC movies universe answer to that. Mm. And now it became different, at least. Well, I mean, the movies going forward for the uh, DC Universe are going to be a bit different now that Zack Snyder's gone. Yeah, people are happy about that. They're like, oh, <laughs> it's a sigh of relief. Well, really, uh, if they, it's just a shame that it took them so long to get um, to that point. They, to get to that point, because really, the first good origin one that was the Wonder Woman one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because Man of Steel is... Even though it was filmed in British Columbia, and I should be supporting my native province's film industry, that movie sucked. Uh, 
Mark, I might be wrong but, uh, on this question, but uh, when is uh, that Fantastic Four movie filmed? The Chester Galba version. Although, well, I don't know about the first one, but the second one was filmed in BC. Yeah, I was thinking something like that. Yeah. Again, I might be but... Ricardo says they're going to have Happy Madison take care of the rest of the DC movies. <laughs> Rob I don't think, I don't think that's for sh I don't think that's for cereal. Rob Schneider as Superman. Rob Schneider hurt the derp to Man of Steel. Nah, Rob Schneider is Superman's sidekick. It'll be Judge Tread over again. <laughs> Rob Schneider is Robin. He's a little boy in a cave with a j grown adult. Oh, Rob Schneider is Batman's butt buddy. Batman's butt buddy. Thank the ambiguous CK duo! He's the Bat Butt Buddy. <laughs> the Bat Butt Buddy. <laughs> oh, well, actually, apparently the original Fantastic Four was filmed in places in Bang in British Columbia as well. In British Columbia. The British Columbia. The 1994 <laughs> the, movie? No, the 2004 <laughs> one. To the to penis the movie. Movie. Or 2005. Action, Rob Schneider is Martin Luther King Jr. Jesus. Oh. I have Rob a dream. <laughs> Rob Schneider had a dream. <laughs> that one there... day all men will be created equal. It's, it's a herpicature. Wait, it's Rob Schneider, Schneider is JFK. <laughs> Rob Schneider. <laughs> Rob Schneider herped a derp to grassy knoll. <laughs> Rob Schneider needs to be in Dallas like he needs a hole in his head. Her <laughs> so, uh, Riz Cardo says in the chat, so Kevin James is Malcolm X? Uh, and Amy Schumer is worse at Bob Parks. Yes. Let's go with the all ways of casting. Ah! Balls. Rob Schneider is Richard Nixon. Herpty derp, I'm not a crook. Tr it, it tricky dicky, way to PG 13. Rob Schneider is Kevin Spacey. Oh, no, 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 no. Herpty derp, I'm well, the best people. Well, Kevin Spacey <laughs> did play Nixon in one movie, so. Herpty yeah. derp, I laid on a 14 year old. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> what is Rob Schneider show? is Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> that might already happen. <laughs> the... Herpty Derp killed the Jews. Oh no. <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ. Oh jeez. He downfall. Derp did Derp the Holocaust. Uh, wow. Oh, hi, me. I'm home. This is getting a little... Jerk, a herp a jerk, a jerk, a jerk, a chamber. No, please, <laughs> oh just stop. Lord. Please. You've gone too far. This is this is crystal knocked funny. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, guys. Whoops, Schneider is Bill Cosby. <laughs> herp to derp to roofies. <laughs> and what did we do last night? Oh my god. <laughs> I, 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 think we're, I think we're doing it stop. It's Rob time to... Rob Schneider is Dane Fordio. Where's... Rip de derp I put my dick in a Chicago-style pizza. <laughs> you know what, now it's time to stop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah where's, where's Filthy Frank? I'll it's time mind. to stop! <laughs> it's time for you to stop. Time to stop! I'm retiring from making videos. <laughs> hey, I say I'm breaking into your car. <laughs> no one gives a fuck about Belgium. <laughs> the world government of Bhutan? I don't know where Bhutan is. Ebus. 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 I can't Don't make the party stop. Just keep putting him right next to me. That'll work. 
The chink. He's done. Hey, boss. This game had such good sound to it. Rob Schneider is Jesse Ventura. <laughs> Hip de derp conspiracy theories. Yeah. Hip de derp Parkinson's. Hip de alien kisses. Rob Schneider is a cheat pie. What? He's a what? The trilogy. The net the net the trilogy guy, the guy who we killed him. Rob Schneider is Malcolm Turnbull. Herp de derp de fucking up Australia. I will watch that actually. Rob <laughs> Schneider is an Aussie pie. Herp de derp de der. Wow. Rob Schneider is Jesus Christ. Herp de derp. Herp de derp de crucifixion. Uh, well, he is a Jew, so. <laughs> Rob Schneider is Martin Screlly. Herp de derp de Christ. Hi. <laughs> Rob Schneider is Jerry Zendusky. <laughs> and don't touch me there. Herp de derp the university coach. Oh, Lord. Rob Schneider is a living party. Herp de derp all men fucking each other. Rob Schneider is Anna Nicole Smith's. Husband. I'm getting old to for this shit. Hey, Rob Schneider is Anna Nicole Smith. Herb de derp de big fake breasts. Guys, come on. We can't have a 25 minute clip for the best of January. <laughs> yeah, that's tough. That's tough. Owen Wilson instead. Rob Schneider is Owen Wilson. Herb de derp de wow. <laughs> You know, I was actually gonna make that joke, you fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all Sonic the other day that I want to post. Oh, Lord. Sorry, Rob, Schne Rob Schneider is Mark Ledhill. Herpty derpty. <laughs> you guys are so immature. Herpty derpty Schneider bathroom heater. <laughs> Rob Schneider is evil person. Herpty derpty evil cat. If Rob Schneider's evil bros have herp de derp de, you got a big cock. Right. Rob Schneider is Billy Carter. Herp de derp de. <laughs> yep. Good timing. There you go. <laughs> you really it's have a good time. sense of comedic timing. I know. <laughs> yeah, where's, where's Filthy Frank again? It's time to stop. It's time to stop. <laughs> it's time to be retired. <laughs> Rob Schneider is retired. No more Herpin or Durbin. <laughs> Rob Schneider's being dumped in a chest in the ocean to sink to the bottom like Angel. That's where he's been. <laughs> I was wondering about that. I thought he was off filming real Rob with his wife, who, by the way, is pretty hot. I'll be right back. How the fuck did Rob Schneider land that? That's what I want to know. Ah, oh, here it is. Oh, with a life of herbs and spices. <laughs> Rob is Schneider he... is cooking with 11 herbs and spices. <laughs> is that what he calls his dick? Who? Who's dick? 11 herbs and spices? Uh, I don't know. Uh, what kind of horrible thing is that you shared? It's our Wilson. The horrible kind. Where? My name's Owen Wilson, and I'm here to fly a kite and ride my bicycle with no handlebars. Sad goose. Ah. 
I ride my bike with no handlebars. No handlebars. No handlebars? Handlebars. Yeah, you said handlebars one of those times. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. There's nothing wrong with it, Mark. Why are you being so defensive? I thought it was funny. Mark doesn't want to be funny all of a sudden. Well, yeah, of course let's, I can't let's, be. Let's, I have to all, live up to my reputation. Let's all not be funny. Right, I mean, that's easy boring. for me. And yeah. for Adam. <laughs> yeah, we, we are not funny. We're not funny. It's because we, we're not funny because we're from countries that are still part of the Commonwealth. Uh-huh. Yeah. What you're saying is the Queen sucked all the funny out of you. No. Yes. I hope it was a good suck. Hey -o. Go home, you're drunk. Hey, go drunk, you're home. I would, but the sharks got me. The queen looks like she was weaned on a pickle. In what way? Hopefully it's not pickle or right. Yeah. Hey. Wap, 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 wap. It said one what in the... Ah, ba 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 said what what in the butt. So what world is this? Or uh, of course it's gonna get harder from here on out. <laughs> oh the game also, yes. It's Ow, gone. how did I avoid that? And avoid that. Oh, I gotta get to the switch. Pachink. No, the pachinko machine. I love how every castle I've been to, Billbot says, show, insert name of Koopa here, who's boss. <laughs> The Legend of Zelda, showing who's up the boss. Showing who's up the boss? No, Tony showing Danza. who's the boss. Tony Danza is like. <laughs> Tony Danza <laughs> is who's the boss says. Hey, oh, hey, oh. It's Ludwig. You think you're funny, Ludwig? Ludwig He's von funnier Sch than me. Ludwig von Schubi. Come back on screen, or am I gonna have to just? Should I go fuck myself? I mean, he probably he'll probably tell you to do that. Yeah. He's done. Ludwig uh, von Koopa is done. My, that was some um, quite a bit of uh, dynamite. Oh, okay. The next world I hate because it's the forest. Because there's a secret exit you actually have to take in order to pass bypass the forest. <gasps> it's a giant pain in the tukas. Seems like it. In the butas. 
All right, guys, I'm going to head off for the night. Okay, wussy. Yep, 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 yep. Panty ways to wussy, you know, you name it. I am it. Communist. Yeah. Or I ate it for breakfast. I don't think you're a wussy. Uh, I love you, Dane. I'll see you guys later. Obviously, I Dane's was... definition of wuss is a little different than mine. No, I'm just kidding. All right, see ya. <laughs> Have a good night, Bill. The fuck does that mean? Oh, the fuck is that? Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh. Walk off, flock off, flame. Hey, yo. Please, please don't do that. <clears throat> what, rap shittily? <laughs> yeah. If you could not do that, that would be swell. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Give me back. Give me back my Yoshi. Yoshi's Never mind, dead. He's, he's dead now. Oh, no. Yoshi was killed today. I hurt my Yoshi today. today. See if I still pee. Oh my god, Mario's so fucking fat! <laughs> Just gonna wait here. This bypasses the forest? I mean, it's actually required in order to keep going. Because uh. if you take the normal exit, you go, you just go in a circle. Uh. And you never get out of the forest. So there's some, there's secret exits you actually have to take in this. My that boo looks angry. Oh, God! Mm. So I know somebody brought up before that all the boos are there's just the ghosts of Mario, dead Marios of the past. What about mm -hmm. that big one? Is that a really, I, is that a really like, fat Mario? I would like to contend that there's a different theory. All those boos are the ghosts of dead Yoshis that he's left behind. Interesting. Well, I mean, it could be both. Fuck. Balls. Sax. A Julia. Balls. Dang. Balls. Did I wake you? Balls. Cock. Jeffrey Peterson's favorite thing to say. Balls. China. Turning into John trying. Dang. Dang. <laughs> Come here, boo! Hey, boo! -boo. I didn't tell you to stop sucking. <laughs> uh, okay, Yogi. Hey, boo! -boo. You know when you're not and she keeps sucking. <laughs> hey, boo! -boo. Work the shaft. Oh my! Hey, boo! -boo. Pretend you're Melissa Etheridge. What does that mean? <laughs> yep. Yogi, yeah. what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Just come to my window, boo! -boo. <laughs> it means be a be a lesbian, boo boo. <laughs> I'm already that, Yogi. <laughs> You're a little late. <laughs> That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. I I unfriend you, Yogi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boo! That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. For fuck's sake. Ranger Smith's just... Ranger Smith's just like, ah, oh, those fucking bears. Goddamn son of a bitch and god suck cock fuck dick ass bitch booze. <laughs> you heard me. Please, tell us how you really feel. Those booze can kiss my cock. Ring. That's as far back as I can go, isn't it? I think that's actually the right exit. We'll ring, that. ring, 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 ring. Banana phone, banana <laughs> phone. Take a shot. Not nah, suckered by Mark. Oh, no, that apparently yep. was not the right exit. 
Take a shot. Dane made a comment about Mark taking a long sequitur. Take a shot. Mark Tate made a comment about Dane making a comment about ba making a non sequitur. Well, We're so drunk now. We're going to play the drinking game. I have to point out those things. Take a shot. Everybody's taking a shot. <laughs> shot, 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 shot. Hey, go drunk. You're home. I'm already hunk. Go I'm already hunk. Bismillah. This is the light of mine. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna suck a cock. Wait, what? No, I'm not. What you do in your personal time is completely up to you. Bill, Bill Bot says take the second to last door at the end. Oh, okay, I see. Second to last door. So, it'd be the first one I pass here, then. Yeah. This one. That's the exit. There's a little light on my. I'm gonna let it shine. Up oh, 69, dude! Uh -huh. Hook, yuck, hook, yuck. That's all, folks. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yoshi and Mario, best friends together. Well, that was weird. I took the hit and collected my spare mushroom on the same frame. My God, you took you broke... a hit of your mushroom. You broke the game. That's not the mushroom you're looking for. Oh my lord, MLG. 360 no scope, Doritos, Mountain Dew. I did Come the same, on, show. I just did the same thing again. No, but I need up into the fucking. Ah, uh, goddammit. No, I want to get up here. Oh no, it's Mountain Dew Camacho. He's after us. Mountain Dew Camacho? The fuck? Mark, do you listen to yourself when you talk sometimes? What? The President what of the United States from. Is after what, us. What does Terry Crews have to do with catching after us? I'll see. Come down oh. here. I like how Hanya wanted it. Mountain Dew, 360, no scope, Doritos, Locos, Tacos. There we go. That's literally what I said, except I didn't say Locos, Tacos. So, Hanya. Shut up. Thanks for the addition. Thanks for the fish. You're welcome, dolphins. It's nice to know that you're the third most intelligent species on the planet, according to Hitchhiker's Guide. Monkeys are the second time, I suspect. No, it's the mice and then the dolphin, then the humans and the dolphins. Damn, so I guess Fievel's not so dumb after all. <laughs> yes. You fucking Oh god, Feeding the background's making my. Genius. The background's making my eyes hurt. Look away, oh, Foxy, no! I mean, that's. I'm gonna have look to look away. away. No, the background's Just... making my ass hurt. There's, um... Stuff for that. Does your face hurt? Cause it's killing me! Hey! Softly with this song. Be quiet, Lauren Hill. <laughs> Alright. Uh... Boss, take over. Strumming my clit with his finger. Wait a minute, that's... Whoa! <laughs> that's not... Actually, why can't Sean take it over? Eating my ass out One with time, seed. one time. <laughs> Did you say eating my ass out with Seacrest? No, it's... What? I'm <laughs> Seacrest, really? Yeah, there's better syrup. people you could eat your ass out with.
You know what? I think that's how he's, he got his job on the E-Network now. Probably. By eating out <laughs> fucking Lauren Hill's ass? <laughs> and strumming her clit with his fingers? Oh, I didn't even know he could do that. <laughs> that friggin' gay <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, boy. <sighs> Eating my doo doo butter with. Uh, Can't spell eat without an e. Well, then it's just at. <laughs> it, it at at. at. I'm gonna yeah. go at a food. All right, I'll be right back. Dossing <laughs> her salad with his tongue. Dossing her salad with his tongue. Ashley, use a nasty. Gene Simmons tongue. Ill, 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 ill. So this was the forest fortress. Did you ever, did you ever catch that? <laughs> Say that ten times fast. That ten times fast. Oh, it's fast. fast. Oh, it's fast. It's fast. It's fast. That today. Ah. Uh. I suck. Just be able to spin jump off of these things. Yeah, there you go. Ah, fuck balls. You got a bus out of the asshole. <laughs> Gosh, you know, Mario always looks so nonplussed. You'd think he'd be a little nervous being around a fucking giant pulverizing, smashing mallets and, and buzz saws. You think? He just kind of looks bored, like, eh, I wonder what's on TV tonight. Oh, when I get home, I'm going to have a lots of spaghetti. But when, I, I to... when I go home, I... I'll keep my job and become a doctor. What the Can fuck? I... <laughs> what the fuck happened there? I hope I DVR the big bag at the end. I'll be a hotel manager and call it a Hotel Mario! <laughs> Ew, dang, the Big Bang Theory is a stupid show. <laughs> show those Resnor who's boss. I tried, but young I gave up. Young, young children's more stupider, and I didn't see a sequel. More episode. stupider? <laughs> He went to Jupiter to get more stupider. You know what? Ah, shit. I didn't stand far enough away. Something tells me that uh, CBS and Chuck Lorre's going to do another Sheldon show called Old Man Shelton, and it's going to suck more. <laughs> and then they'll do another show called Dead Sheldon. Every oh week my. it'll be 30 minutes of a fucking corpse. Which is also my name for the Big Bang Theory, because they've beat that and, fucking horse dead too. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, and he'll be played by Rob Schneider. <laughs> Rob Schneider is a corpse. <laughs> you guys are horrible. I don't know, I'm not horrible. I thought I did, I don't even horrible. I don't even understand fucking. Dang, old dang, man. Dang old, dang old, dang old, dang old, dang old, dang old. Dang old, dang old, dang old. <laughs> Boomhauer sang uh, No Diggity. Yes. <laughs> oh, I like the way you dang old work it going, no, don't, don't diggity. Dang old, dang old, dang old, dang Mind my money, money my mind, dang old. That's a different song, but... Who I is know. counting? Ah. Uh... Oh, God. I should have just went. Instead of trying to impress people by but by spin jumping off of the buzz saw. I zigged when I should have zagged. I zigglered when I should have zagged. Mm. Alright, sorry, I thought I heard something again, but maybe it's just my imagination. I think it's might the voices in your head crying out for mercy. A car parked in my background, so it might be that. 
A car parked in your background. You might want to get that checked out. A car parked in your snatch. Hey, oh. Like the way you're working. Down, dang, on diggity. <laughs> dang, old diggity. <laughs> Fucking brilliant. I like to bag it up. Oh, no, no, dang, old bag it up. Bag it up. This is one of those nights where it, it just... Everything is the best of January. <laughs> what should be? I should have spin jumped. Hmm. What is wrong with me? What should be in the best of January? Oh. Everything! Yeah, my, my home butthole, what? Everything, including the kitchen sink. No, fuck the kitchen sink. No, we don't want the kitchen sink. Kitchen... Kitchen stink. Kitchen <laughs> <laughs> Stupid kitchen stink. Stupid sexy flanders. That's what happens when you leave like old noodles in the sink to rot. <laughs> you this get the Chris kitchen Chan's stink. House. This isn't Chris Chan's house. Is <laughs> okay, I am. Uh, I'm going. I am going to run up front real quick. I'll be right back. All right. Hi, Layla. Say hi to us, Layla. Are we too good for you? She left, so so late. He never wants to say hello. <laughs> You're just being a poopy face today, Rose. Layla, your friend's calling you. You better come in your house! Oh no, it's another Ozzy. Ozzy Osbourne. Okay. It's the final douchebag. Final Shirley? No, no, he's the second final fish back. No way. I don't even know anymore. Uh, you guys heard about the Crocodile Dundee movie? Sequel? No, and I don't care. Well, I can give you good news. It's not a sequel. It's just a promo ad for Super Bowl two this year. So it's not coming out? No. Oh, gee. That's like a that's that's a bit more of a relief. But then again, I do want to see the train wreck of it. All right, I'm I back. Mean, Welcome back. Who's ready Mr. to poop? Carter. Zeus. I mean, Hi. seriously, Danny McBride as Dundee. La la la. La 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 Oh fuck, I forgot that bus was there. I w I'm tempted to go all the way back to the top yeah. secret area, but that's a long trek. I don't want to walk. Who's flushing a toilet? Yeah, uh, my life. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Mike, I don't think your life's that bad. <laughs> what I'm saying is, I'm not saying that my life is a toilet, that it needs to be flushed. I'm saying that my life would markedly improve if the toilet were flushed. I, uh... <laughs> no? I don't, know, I don't know quite how to respond to that. Is that, a, is that a no, then? I got nothing. Okay. Well, I mean... 
It was it was nice of you guys to try. I appreciate it. You've got your health and you've got. And I've been gone for a minute. So I missed something. <laughs> I've got my health and I got my friends. Yeah. You've got a big dick. You got a friend in me. Yeah, I do have a big dick. His name is Dane. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bon. Anyway. This looks like it's an annoying castle. Yes. It's not we even a castle, right. it's a fucking fortress. We gave That's it away the fact that Mike died 27 times. Well, gave it away, the gave it away, gave it away death. now. Gave it away, gave it away, gave it away now. But I got what you gotta give away? it to your mama. The, uh, How did I avoid that? Red Hot Chili Peppers playing in the background. <laughs> but to me... Uh, I'm not seven. Make a long story short, I don't think you should flush your life down the toilet, because <laughs> you don't know where it's been. No, 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 that is not what I said. I said it would be better if the toilet were flushed, not my life. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean... What I'm, what I'm saying is, is all my problems are represented by a big fucking floating turd, probably left by Billy. Mr. Rex, are you, Mr. Rex is your big problem? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's just racist. <laughs> Leave Geek Juice out of this. Oh, so you mean that I shouldn't say that Mike Robinson is a fucking loser douchebag who has no talent? I mean, no, you can, you, can, you can say that all you want, but, but, compare, but likening him to a piece of shit is actually kind of racist. He is a piece of shit, though. No, but like an actual literal piece of shit. <laughs> Saying he's a turd floating in the... That's like... That's, <laughs> that's like if I, um... That's like if I said a Chinese person looked like a banana. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, let me back up then. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Alex, Alex Jowski's in your toilet? God damn it. I started laughing and I forgot to move. <laughs> oh, It's funny, he only goes by Alex Chelsea when he's doing the riffs anyway, so... For all well, intents what, and purposes, that's a completely different person! What, what, what stupid-ass name does he go by when he's not riffing? Matthew Coates. <laughs> Matthew Coates. Uh, Matthew like has, Matthew socks. Matthew has shit on the coats. I hope it isn't my coat. <laughs> I know, right? I paid good money for that coat. All of two dollars. Two whole dollars. Two whole I dollar haven't dues. been on the Geek Juice website in forever. Me either. My stuff probably isn't there anymore. For a, it actually used to be for a while. It, oh, damn it. Oh, my lord. For a while, it, they could, it was on the site for a long, long, long time. After I left. And I think like earlier last, early like last year's, that was stupid. Early last year's when they finally got rid of it. Well, that took a long time. Yeah. Well, it's nothing I need. I've got everything. Still waiting for all those episodes of WrestleRips that you haven't re-uploaded. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of shit I haven't re-uploaded that it, it, it's hard to find time to do all that shit. Well, it also doesn't uh, help that the servers that you were services you were using screwed you over too. Yeah, it doesn't help that a lot of the services that I keep using tend to, you know, fuck with me. The only one that I, hasn't is Springboard. I thought you, uh, I thought you salvaged all that stuff though. No, I salvaged all that stuff. Damn it. He no, salvaged thought, it, but it doesn't I got mean all that... Of, everything that I needed to get off of Vidme that I already that I didn't already have a copy of, I got. But it's just finding time to upload all of it. I've still got like 20 episodes of Slam that I gotta re-upload. A lot of stuff. Uh, shit. I should probably just stop trying to show off there. Yeah, we know you can ju you could spin jump on the bus saws. We get it. We get fucking... it. We get it, man. You can spin jump all them shit. Oh yeah, you're cool. You're cool, bruh. Yeah, yeah, you're cool. 
What are you gonna tell me now? You watched the Big Lebowski and didn't jerk off to it? Yeah, you're cool. Um. Excuse me. What? I don't think I stuttered. Uh. Have a good I, night, Ashley. Sleep tight. Uh, I would like to. I would like to meet the person who watched the Big Lebowski and jacked off to. It. Oh yeah, this is what happens when you find a stranger in the Alps. Um, uh, you've rendered me speechless. I have spendered you reachless. Yes, you have. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, I think it's time to go back to the top secret area. Now, this is going to be a long journey. And then you're going to spend 45 minutes getting health. I'm going to at least spend a little bit of time getting lives, because this is getting a little ridiculous. Yeah. It's getting ridiculous. At least you can go back. True. Ooh, that sounded like Final Fantasy VII music there for a second. Mark was getting a boner. No, no. I'm just gonna go use the washroom. I'll be back. I don't match before you go. <laughs> oh, Mark, so he leads us. He has separate rooms for washing <sighs> and bathing. He has a washroom and a bathroom. Boo! <laughs> Excuse me, princess. My good. I promise it's not going to be 30 minutes of this. I just want to get a little bit of a safety net. That's what you said. Go to like 25 lives, maybe. 48 hours later. Well, I mean, you can only get to 99, so. Oh, I know. <laughs> 48 hours is a little too much time. It's also an Eddie Murphy movie. Yes. Yeah. And a very good one at that. Well, and then the there's another. Movie. And then there's another 48 hours. Yeah. Which isn't. Which as isn't good. quite as good. Yeah, exactly. Nick Nolte was at his most drugged out. You can rack up a lot of lives in the first forest level. Yeah, but I, I prefer to do it here where I can't die. That is an excellent <laughs> point. As you may have noticed, I'm not that great at this game. Or, or video games in general. So why take my chances if I don't have to? This is it. There we go. 25. Let's go. This ought to make that fucking for fortress a lot more easier. Although I don't even know that I actually have to do the fortress. I don't know if it actually opens up anything or... It opens up a star road, I think. Yeah. Does it? I don't know what the point is then. I should just go on and try to open up the castle. As you might have noticed... Uh, Ricardo asked me earlier in the night, are you doing do a 100% run of this? And I said, I don't know. I thought about it. I have, I, I have thought about it. My answer is no. <laughs> let's actually go to the main. Yeah, let's go to the main exit. Mm -hmm. 
I got rid of that dick. But only for a bit. Because in just a minute he'll be right back. There he is. And suck and suck and suck and suck on my cock. The biddy and flabbity flu. Oh, oof. oof. I forgot I could fly as Yoshi. Yep, you can. When I have the cape, yeah. Or a blue shell. No, Yoshi, come back! Oh. Well, I still have the cape. Now I have the fire flower. Now I don't have anything. Flush the toilet as the world turns. Hum, 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 hum. Well, I need to head off as well. I need to be up early. Have a good night, Dane. Good night, good night Dane. I don't think you can actually spin hit the spiky thingies. Do that though. Mm -hmm. Ah, balls. Big spiky balls. Gavin eats pieces of shit for breakfast. Shooter McGavin bro blew a two-stroke lead on the back nine. Sure, Makes sense, I guess. Mm -hmm -hmm. Have a good night, Billbot85. Thanks for all the fish. That's a lot of fish. Said no one ever. Well, Matthew Broderick, he's not exactly no one. I was making a joke about the Godzilla 1998 movie not existing. Right. But no matter how much you want that movie to not exist, Matthew Broderick will always be married to Horseface McGee. Sarah yes. Jessica Parker, yes. Yes. Horseface McGee. <sighs> There's and so much on the said, screen that yeah. it is slowing down. Holy shit, Sprite Limits. And he'll always be forever remembered as Inspector Gadget, the not good one. No, he that's the actual, like, that's... That's well, French I, Stewart. I, French Stewart the is, the, is the bad Inspector Gadget. Inspector Gadget. Inspector I, I, tend to, I tend to say the French Stewart one is the worst one. Yeah, I'm not going to say that Matthew Broderick's is good, but it's certainly better than French Stewart. And I like French Stewart, so don't get me wrong. I loved him in Third Rock from the Sun. Ah, uh, Third Rock I from wish, the Sun. I wish that show got a revival instead of uh, Murphy Brown. Yeah. Which, I don't mind, but Murphy Brown, it's just that I don't really watch that show. I don't mind, but Murphy Brown. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, they are still around, so... Bird Rock from the Sun reboot? I don't know. Well, 2020, I guess. I'm sure if you keep hoping, it'll... Yeah, Tom Lithgow will return, and Chess of God and Leopard.
Pretty sure if I just beat this level normally, I can go past. Or it may take me around in a circle. I have no fucking clue. Holy sprite limits, Batman. Damn it, I thought I passed. Do do ba do ba do suck and do ba do do. Ah, uh, did any of you guys watch uh, this week's episode of Discovery? Not yet. No. Oh, you, you are gonna like it. Oh, you are gonna hate fucking. No, I'm just kidding. No, the year the mirror universe is interesting. I just haven't gone around to watching the last two episodes yet. Well, watch the last two episodes first, then get to this one. No, no, no. I we'll meant get... the new. The last two episodes are the one that was just on on Sunday, and then the one before that. Yeah, I know. Like I said, get to the first two episodes first. I mean, last blah blah blah. I mean, get to those first, and get to that one. That's what I'm saying. Uh, Discovery takes place before the original series, right? Yes. Yeah. So if they do the uh, if they do the mirror universe in uh, Discovery, they have to do it like they did in Enterprise, where they just don't cross over at all. Well, no, they're crossing over. But I have a theory that they cross I'm over into one... the they cross over into the main universe on Discovery. Into the mirror universe, yeah. On Discovery. No, but the, does the mirror universe cross into the main universe? Is what I'm trying uh, to say well, the, here. The the I I the ISS uh, Discovery is in the Prime universe because they switched places with the main universe uh, thing. So, so wait, so some... that that means first contact wasn't uh, with that universe wasn't made on the original series anymore then. Which is why I'm starting yeah. to think that the Discovery actually takes place on a parallel timeline where they're actually a par they're they're themselves are a parallel universe is it in the is it in the universe with where the kelvin was destroyed no it's in uh. the one in the original timeline which hmm. is or supposed to be which is having me think that perhaps the discovery's original timeline is actually a slight slight another timeline that they and then they eventually get shunted into the prime universe but i don't know we'll find out and see how they try and fix the continuity and errors then that and then so far. and then there's another timeline where uh uh hoshi sato and uh see paul have to be naked all the time <laughs> no and also seven of nine because why not Mm. Big blue eyed blonde hair, blonde haired woman with big boobies. Why not? Yeah, I, I think you're describing the Star Trek porn parodies. Seven inches <laughs> of nine inches. <laughs> Banana Taurus. <laughs> Yeah, that one is, that one is, that one's cheesy. I'll have to pick up. P-Pole. <laughs> uh, uh. Horny Sato? I don't know, fuck it. <laughs> I ran out of ideas. Ah, balls. Ah! Why? <sighs> now I have no mushroom, plenty of sauce, no ketchup. Mm, mushroom sauce. There's a good restaurant in uh, 
shops in the area is called Rache's, in which they have the best mushrooms to have. 2 plus 2 is 4, minus 1 is 3 quick mods. Put it on steak or chicken parmesan. Yum. I'm a pashamama. Fuck. Uh, Fuck you, I'm Chuck. Just, I'm just hungry. <laughs> Fuck charging Chuck in his fucking Chuck Chuck ass. Hmm. Oh. Ooh. Uh, thanks, Roman Reigns. I'm just yawn. Uh. I'm supposed to jump. I hit jump the jump. Around. I jump. hit the jump. jump button. I hit the crisscross button. For fuck's sake, don't worry. jump! You, don't worry. You got you got House of Pain instead. Jump around. Jump up and get down. I wish it would just jump up and get down instead of just getting down. Eating my jump inputs here. Jumping inputs. Ha, ah, eat it, charging Chuck. You charging fuck. I am not big. I probably need to get in the secret exit to to pass by this level too, that's the thing. Na 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 ba da ba da da. Fuck! Yeah, watch it just send me in a circle. Yep! There it is. Circle. Let's see if I can get to another place with uh, a mushroom, possibly. That'll work. Let's go in there again and get some backup. And another one-up, why not? Actually, this level I could probably get a bunch of one-ups. Ah, damn it! You turd lickle. Turd lickle? It's not... Saying that wrong. You fucking slut! No, I'm just kidding. Oh, for fuck's Whoa. sake. Lakitu, you fucking anus hole. You're a fucking penis hole. Grab a dick and eat it hole. I need to know if you were dropped when you were just a fetus, though. Well, the, the, the good part is, is I won't ever run out of lives in this level. Yeah, whatever. Win a double pass to see Insidious the last key. I haven't even seen the first one yet, so no thanks. Mima is pooping eggs. Don't expect me to know what that means, by the way. Oh god, no! Why would you do that? Oh, for fuck's sake. All I want is a fucking cape and a backup. Why is that so goddamn difficult? Hey, Layla. Where's my mom? Why I die? I don't know, because Mario decided I'm gonna fly into a pit, because I'm stupid. Seems like a legitimate reason. Mike's controlling me. Fuck him! Right? Right? This is like uh -huh. the USS Callista. Well, that is not right actually off. what I wanted, but whatever. Trying to get the cape. Try again, I guess. I could actually just come back here for lives. Probably get through them faster, too. Yeah, I'm not gonna wait to land on that fucking thing. Let's go. Alright, let's hope... ...that I make it to that pipe while big. 
Hope springs eternal. Yeah. Or my favorite, hope in one hand and shit in the other and see which one fills up first. Not familiar with that one. I don't like Pap's blue ribbon, mommy. Then you grow well, no. up to be Phil to be Frank. Well, nobody likes Pap's blue ribbon, sweetie. That's why it's shit. That's why it's a plot point in Blue Velvet. Blue mm -hmm. Velvet. I like to have random anonymous sex. I don't know what that means. Oh, I made it. That should take me out of the forest. <laughs> If I can beat, I think it's Roy. Yeah, if I can beat Roy before this, and and and, and end on that note for the night, that'd be great. Roy beating, <laughs> beating Roy, the Roy Koopa. Oh. They got creative with the names. So is this a prequel or a sequel, or what's the timeline for this one? I don't fucking know. Timeline? What's that? Speaking of which, I do you really expect to Nintendo to be very good off. with timelines? I mean, look at Zelda. They actually did release a timeline that's fairly easy to that understand. Mean, that doesn't mean it's any good. I just lost my backup cape, too. So that's great. Thanks, Tony the Tiger. Uh... Tony Tiger do that. I'll play. Does he mouth burp? Or mouth fart? Mouth burp, that's just I'll a burp. Play. I don't have any evidence of that, so who knows? It's a good question. I don't know what Tony the Tiger does. Son of a poop monster! Oh, okay. I apparently just can't go there. That's a go that way. There we go. Yeehaw is fucking. I don't know. Oh. I want cape! I just want cape. That's so much to ask. Uh -huh. Oh, Lakitu, why do you gotta be in the fucking way? All the time. Lakitu is just in the way. He stands in front of the TV when you watch porn. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm not gonna wait to land on those coop those mm. spinies and lose my cape that I came so far to get. There we go. That's better. Alright, let's go to Roy Koopa's castle. And try to beat it. I don't know what but, I'm doing this accent. Me either. Look at everybody. We've we stumbled upon a wild crocodile. And today, I'm gonna stick my finger in its cloaca. In crocodile will it fit. Listen, today, we're gonna take a look at the majestic Monta Ray. Oh. That's no good. Get off of my platform, Flame. Great, now I gotta avoid the flame. Oh no, never mind, he despawned. Heh <laughs> Shows you.
I got a backup cape if I can get it. Oh! Here we go. Got it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Ah, oh, I'm not good. Oh, I got another cape. Nope. Whew. Okay. Okay. This is exactly the same as, I believe, the Morton fight. <laughs> it was the second, whatever the second boss was. Except the castle walls uh, get smaller and smaller every time he drops. There we go. He's done. And that's that's a good way to end the evening. Thank you guys for joining us for this edition of MVG Live. That was a lot of fun. Uh, we will be definitely returning into Super Mario World and, and hopefully finishing it. Maybe next, next night will actually be the last night. Because uh, we beat five Koopas tonight. Oh, wow. That's five worlds we completed tonight out of seven. So, the next one could very well be the last night. So, that's 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 pretty good. We also still have Link to the Past Randomizer on the table. Uh, another night or two of that would probably be... Will probably be the end of that. Because I'm pretty getting pretty close to being able to get to... Being able to fight Ganon. Having enough stuff to be able oh. to fight Ganon. Yep. Which would be good. Alright, so, um... Will there be a stream tomorrow? I don't know. Uh... Could be. Keep an eye on Facebook to find out. Facebook.com slash NVGLive. And be sure, of course, to follow... To uh, watch the past episodes of the show on tv for your mind dot com. And, of course, the cast of tonight's show is on Twitter. I am quite mental. Dane Ford Joan is Dane... F5611 Billy Carter is Bill Carter 17. Uh, Mark Gladhill is M Mark T Gladhill. Adam is Adam in Bednarchik on Twitter. Thanks for watching everybody. And bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.